Saying that, there was a time in my life where functional breathing was just not on the agenda for me because I had an immensely negative relationship with my breath. My panic attacks revolved around breathlessness or fighting for breath. So anytime I focused on my breath, I would have a panic attack. So functional breathing wasn't on the cards for me. I had to learn to do that. I had to, and it was actually mindfulness that allowed me become stronger with my breath. And what I started to do that really helped me in mindfulness was I focused on the movement of my breath. And that is what started to change my relationship with breathing. Once I got more con confident with my breath, I moved into functional breathing, where I was like, right, how can I actively do something in this five to 10 minute period that relaxes me or focuses me or gets me going for a particular thing? So that's why I think the functionality of breath work has to be at the, a, an integral part of anybody's support or conditioning for their mental or physical health.